kick you out myself! These. These nuts. As we approach the finale of 2023, let's take a trip down the memory lane of Karen Chaos. Pause for a moment and think about your favorite Karen clips of the year. Now, big question. Do you think your pick has what it takes to make the cut in our countdown of the best Karen moments of 2023? Let's take a look. Karen didn't get her precious refund, so she decided to showcase her stellar personality by harassing the poor worker's appearance. Real mature, Karen. Real mature. You gonna ban me? You gonna ban me? You finna get fired. That's finna have you finna get fired. You finna get fired. And you need to fix them teeth. You need to you need to fix your teeth. Fix them teeth. Fix them teeth. Look at your wig. Look at your wig. This a real girl. Reverse the camera. Let me get my money back. Let me get my money back. Camera reverse. This is a real girl. That's a boy. That's a boy. A boy. You damn right as a thigh. You you damn right as a thigh. You damn right as a thigh. And what? Give my money back. No, you don't. Give my money back. Give my money back. Give my money back. This teenage worker decided to play a little game and mess with Karen, who demanded to rent a yacht when there were none available. And I need to get out of here. It doesn't work like that. It takes days. I want to talk to the manager. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. 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 Okay, I'm going to get out of here.
Because you're rude. Get I'm out. Rude. I asked you, what do you I'm need? Victim, get, out. get out. Get out. Get out, lady. Get out, please. 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 We do not we do not need your business, please. You know what? Get out. Get out, please. 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 I'm reporting Get out, please. I'm reporting Get out. Get out. Get out. The police will get out. This Karen was going all out, bending over backward to prove that she didn't lay a finger on the guy's car mirror with her cart. Watch you. It's a five hundred dollar mirror, ma'am. I ma didn't touch your friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Okay. Ma'am, I sat and watched you. I I wouldn't. And you and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Ma'am, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm you, gonna back up. You, um, just, you just came up to me. I went like this. You just back came, up. You just walked up to me. I went up to here. Ma'am, you just took my mirror off with your cart. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Look at the cart. It's the same exact height. I watched you. And, and ma'am, you came up go to me. I by your mirror. I did because you couldn't get by your mirror. You got stuck you on it. Over here? Because you got stuck on it, ma'am. I didn't get I didn't get stuck on it. I stopped right here. And if yeah. I did anything, And if you would grab the cart, it is the exact height of where you got stuck on my it mirror, man. It happened last week. It happened just now. No, I was I was sitting in my driver's seat, man. I Karen at the gym breaks all the rules. And when they ban her, she acts all surprised, playing the victim. Like, who would have thought rules apply to her? The policy violation for what? So being in the facility, we've already talked to you numerous times, woke you up numerous times, um, keeping yourself in the locker room, told you that. Keeping myself in there? Yeah, in the lockers. How was I keeping myself in the locker? Myself or my stuff? Your stuff. Okay, not self. well y'all only told me today. No, we've told you. No, you have times. not. You're That's a liar. Right. No, you haven't. No. You haven't. No. You haven't. But so you can that, sit there and lie, but you can you can leave now. No, I can't because I'm no, talking. No, you're terminated. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I can call the police on you. Call them. I would just call them. <sighs> call them up here. No, I'm call them. I don't give a damn. Get out. No, call them. Please do. Call them. Call them. You gotta make it hard. No, because y'all are full of shit. Call them. Man, I'm just trying to eat. Okay. Y'all need to wanna, refund my money. Wanna sit down? No, nope. I'm okay. good right here. So they need to refund my money. No. Okay. So y'all stole my stuff and now y'all playing with my money, okay. What did we steal? My stuff out of that locker. There was nothing stolen. Yes, it was. Like, That's what I just called the police for. My candles was missing and my money. That's why y'all shouldn't touch people's Your is in there. You no, my like, money what, is not in my pants candles? pockets. No, I had 15. And it's only eight in that box. That ain't my fault. Oh, but you went in my damn locker. I moved it. So. Yeah. I ain't, why would I want your shit? I don't know. I don't want candles or tarot cards or anything like that. Well, you went in it. Huh? I don't know what you want. You got black fingernail pops. I don't know what the out of here. So do you. I know. I'm transgender. Are you? No. Oh, okay. I'm just wearing it so I can stop biting my nose. Oh. What, are you suing something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shut the f can't have stuff in Well, there. when were y'all going to tell me that? But they did tell you. No, they didn't. That's why I know you're lying. I, was I walked in did. here yesterday. Well, they're fire because I walked in here yesterday and I saw you. Nobody but told no, me I'll, anything. You've been, you've been told before. Nobody told me anything. But you've been told before. That's the funny part. Nobody told me anything. We have had no, the hell y'all haven't. Y'all told me about sleeping. Nobody ever told me about my stuff. You think the f left all my stuff in this f gym? It's still insane that you did that, though. Yeah, because I left I it in like here. You live here. No, I don't live here. I was changing my clothes. Where do you live? I'm homeless, and I told you that. Yeah, your mom kicked you out. No, she didn't. She's dead, you b No, your mom called us and told you. No, told she's you. dead. And who called us? That your mom literally called the gym and told us you, she kicked you out. How did my mom call and tell y'all that she's deceased? You want me to pull up know. that she's deceased? I don't know. So who the f told you? I don't know then. The Cause it's a lie. The ghost? I don't know. No, it's no ghost. She's haunting us now. No, nobody calls y'all. It's a lie. Karen goes all judge and jury on this lady, harassing her for an address because she thinks they're in the private pool. 
Even though the lady says she lives here, Karen won't quit. I live here. No, no you're right. Now our manager would, because you don't live here. It doesn't matter. You can't be here. It's a private It is a private. Okay, what's your address? And they're just moving the party to my house. We don't have Karen's over there, it's fine. This Karen tries to frame a nice cashier in the store as a racist for racially profiling her kids. She refuses to listen to any explanation from the cashier, thinking her kids are all innocent and perfect. What happened in the store? What you heard in the store? I want to hear it from you. Why did you call security on my son? What kind of behaviors were they showing that made you okay, think that so they were okay, stealing? So okay. you had to get, because you got security, correct, for my children. They were spending money. They don't come in here often. I sent them to the store. You told them that next time bring a parent with you. I didn't know this was Costco. I didn't know you needed a membership. I didn't know you needed, it was the 18 and over club. Okay. They were spending money as children do. They were doing me, they were running an errand for me. What were they doing? The behaviors in the store That's that made the you first call security? Thing you asked me yes. Before you okay. Yes. 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 So now I want so to know why you call security on my what children. What the behaviors were when he first came in? He came in, the bag was flat. He walked right over to the side over on there, unzipped the bag, opened it, headed down. Okay. The do you have that on security camera? No, can you show me that, that on that security camera? You because from my okay, time. okay, but from what yeah. my children told me, they didn't open no bag. Okay, well, do you have the behavior on the security cameras? Because I, I would like not. to see it. Now, I've also like corporate's number, Timothy. Corporate's number. Yeah, okay, problem. Timothy, that's not fine. So that's what you do. Um, I mean, I see crackheads coming here. I see dope thieves. I see homeless Timothy. people. Then they're taking baths in your aisles. Okay. Well, My whole thing is, what were these two boys doing that was just like, so, just so crazy? Yeah, I'm like, very no, upset. I'm no, very upset. You've seen that. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna I've give you corporate number because we're not. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm I have to do whatever I want because you, you just can. sat there and freshly profiled my children. No, I you did. Didn't you did. Them okay, well, yeah. show me the camera footage where they were open back. No, I okay. We'll call corporate and tell. I want to hear from corporate that you can't show me security back. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Well, you're supposed to call corporate. If I need you to call corporate, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You have a discrepancy in your store. Okay. Well, I will call corporate. Let me see your phone. I will call corporate right here. Yeah, because you're being very unhelpful. You sat there and rushed to out his voice. Upset their mother. Uh, yes, she did. Yes, she did. You went and got security. You could, they're little children. You could have asked them to open their bags. I did. I there, my the officer did. You have to call did the police officer. Did he? No. You have to call. I have to have somebody <laughs> there because the first thing they're going to say is. Okay, well, well there's other talking. employees here. There's other employees here, sir. You know what I'm saying? Another boy could have stepped in. Excuse me, excuse me, you young man. Yes, please give me a number to corporate Timothy because this is ridiculous. You racially profiled my children. No. They are good boys. They have money in their pocket. Was there anything in their bag yeah, when you searched their bag? Were they up here stealing? I'm a dancer. Excuse me, can you answer that? <laughs> These are good boys. They they go to school every day. They're not in no trouble. They're at home every night. They don't wander. They tell me everything. For you to have sat there and do that, that was out of pocket. And I know you did, sir. I know you did. I know you did. No, but you but you had other employees here. You had this gentleman right here. You could have said, excuse me, boys, can you open your bags for me? They're they're not stealing. Did they steal? Did, did you find anything? Did you know? No, you got that on camera. You still got that on camera. Did you find anything in their bag? Did you find anything in the bag, sir? Can you answer that? I told you no. No? Okay. So can you give my kids an apology while their mother is sitting here? A, a, a heartfelt <laughs> That's apology? Not a problem. Okay, I, I we'll go ahead and do I it. I apologize for asking me to open your bag. No, I'm for getting security. No, no, for grabbing I'm security on them. For that. Oh, you're not? No, you're sorry. not? Okay, well then that's because you, you, you racially first. profiled them. No. You got security. You were too too much of a coward to ask them to open their bags yourself. As a grown ass man, you're a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. And we're not going to be shopping you. Okay. Good night. Yeah, and you probably, yeah, I'm calling corporate on you, Timothy. Be my guest. Don't shop here. They racially, they racially profiled my children. My children were not stealing. Me, man. They have money. Line. I know. Karen literally drove to the guy's house just to let him know she's not scared of him. Why? Oh, because of a trash trailer on his property. And she had to make sure to make a drama out of it. Um, 
Yeah, they will hear you right now. I know. And there's an incident report. You can't do that. You okay. can't try to come on my property and you can't try to intimidate me. No one is. I'm not intimidated by you. Okay. Do you hear me? I am not intimidated by you. You okay. cannot intimidate me. You're in front of my house. Mind your own they business are, and move. Came onto my property. No one did. Yes, you did. Okay. I have pictures on my camera. Okay. Don't do it again. Okay. You passed by right in front earlier taking videos of me. Do I saw I you. I saw you. I saw you. I, I saw you. I have cameras in my car. No, I saw you. I don't have video of you. Lady, please. I your don't. phone is bright red. I can see you. Come no, on. I and I honked at you. And then you just left. Now you're back here. I saw you. Why are you lying? I have cameras in my car. Do you really want to lie? I'm not lying. Okay. I don't have video of you. Do you hear me? I don't have video of you. Okay. Sounds good. I saw you earlier you taking video. No one's no 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 one's walking in your property. Yes, you did. Okay. Sounds good. So leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me yeah. alone. We'll leave you alone when you leave us alone. I'm not the one doing this kind of stuff in a nice neighborhood. Nice. This is leave the hood. This is the hood. Leave this is the hood. Go move to a private community. This is the this is the hood. You are I I live in a private me. I live in a private community. I you know what I I don't <laughs> I I have two houses, lady. You have two houses? Tell me more. Tell me more? You don't live here and this is a a what? A what? What did you say? This is a what? What did you say? What? What is it? What did you what say? What is it? This is the hood. This here. is the hood, lady. Come on. This is the street. Come on. Move forward. Move on. Come on. Come on, you Karen. Come on. Karen decides it's cool to block this lady's driveway with her car. When the lady asks her to move it, Karen's ego gets hurt and she starts acting all confused. What did she expect? The red carpet for her parking skills? Please get... I already told you why. There's not a, there's a spot right there you could park in. What's, what's, and do you live here? Who the f are you? I live to? here. There's somebody who lives here. Who is assigned What I need to get in my car and get to a job okay, and you're You don't have to treat me like this. You, I didn't do anything to you. So You what? did too. You parked her in. Oh, and I'm really hurt. Yes, I need to get to my I have responsibilities I need to get to. This is my parking no, spot. No, it's not. The le I signed a lease here. They said you can park right there. No, they didn't. Were you there? Were you there? there when she signed the lease? Why are you yelling at me too? Who the f are you? Somebody she uh, asked to help her. Good. And you don't live here. What do you think? You think I'm going to Please hit you? get is in your why car. You're recording me? Cuz you're being psycho. I would like you to get in your psycho. car and move. I'm being psycho. Please get in your car time. and move. I'll wait for the police to come. For what? Because you're being rude to me. The whole time since you knocked on that door, you've been being rude. Why would I be so nice to you when you're blocking me in when I have, say, hey, I have to go somewhere? You know, shouldn't do this in the first place. This is my spot. I live here. And you do not live here. Karen's unleashing her inner banshee on some poor lady, thinking she's the boss. But a cop showed up and gave her a taste of her own medicine by screaming right in her face. Karen's left speechless, taking a moment to understand what just happened. This is how you handle a Karen. A stay away from the other people, you hear me? And if you stay in this chair, get the out! Thank you, sir. Do that again, I'll kick you out myself! This entitled Karen completely lost her mind over parking. She blocked this poor guy's car, refused to let him leave, and then went crazy throwing his phone away. It was my door, and, I was trying to and you're you stopping. You're pulling my, you're because, hitting me. Because you're stopping me. Yes, because please I need you back, to hear. Please back away from me. I need you to this hear is some words. This is insane. I will back up here, but you need to listen miss, to me. Miss, you're not. If you're that concerned. You, miss, I'm concerned about you, you stopping me from leaving. That's what I'm concerned, I'm concerned with. I'm you going to the store Please do. and let them know that I'm you're concerned. stopping me. You can't stop I'm me. I'm concerned with I you parking. Mr. Karen tries to flex muscles he doesn't have as he screams as the restaurant worker, attempting to pick a fight. It's like watching a tiny dog bark at a pit bull. 
Someone needs to tell him he's not fooling anyone with that weak act. Look, what does that say? The sign was. Look, read it. That's Mickey Mouse. You want him to hit you? Knock you out and take your job and go back there and show them niggas how to work. You ain't showing. You lazy. Are you sleeping on the job? You about to get fired. You never heard of undercover boss? You just got exposed. Get your GMs out of here now. I'm on an all out Yeah, send the goddamn cop. Go back right now. And I'll get away with it. Hi, YouTube. Can you take the cop, please? Hey, tell him I'm right there. I'm going to talk to Bill. Tell him your name while you at it. Come, come tell him what it is. This Karen worker at the store decides to go all detective and ask this lady for her receipt. The lady actually shows it, but oh no, Karen's not done. She decides to stop the lady from leaving and calls her manager for no reason. What is Walmart gonna learn? Why are you doing this? I, I told you I had a receipt. I presented a receipt. Okay, and I'm gonna tell her that you're stopping me for nothing. Come on. Thank you. Where is she still coming? Oh yeah, she's coming. Okay. I'll talk to your boss. I came here to purchase a goddamn TV. The manager here. Yes, I am. This lady, she has been very. Hello? Uncooperative, very rude, disrespectful to me. So I come out. I'm, I, I just came here to get some TVs. She asked me if I had a receipt. She said, "Do you have a receipt?" I said, "Yes, I had a receipt." I said, "Here's my receipt." And then I proceeded to leave. And then she tries to stop me from leaving the store. Mr. Karen is the rebel without a cause. He refuses to wear a mask in the store during a pandemic situation, and has the nerve to argue with those who try to talk some sense into him. Somebody put a fist in my face, I want to protect myself. I can't. Well, it, it's all on camera. It's all on camera. And if I see this video anywhere, I will track you down. Check YouTube. And check everything you own. Check you Facebook. Understand? Check every internet, you social media. Understand. Oh, it's going to. As quick as I get out of here, it's going on YouTube. We have cancer, is why we come out this time of night. So we're protected from people like you. I'm getting you. two items. I'm trying to leave. She came over and raised her fist in my face. I so did I did not. this. I told him he did not and he's reaching for a gun. Me. I got my two things that I needed, and I'm walking this way. They have followed me all the way down through here, and they're still falling. Karen goes all out, disrespecting this poor worker at the store. Then she's got the nerve to expect an apology. But guess what? The worker isn't playing that game, and Karen storms out all huffy. Every time I come here, 20 minutes. You know, this is my store. This is in my neighborhood. Don't talk to me like this. Everybody wants you to leave. You cannot do that. You cannot be really. I can be talked to the way I was by no, the cashier. You by the cashier. You know what? <laughs> I want her to come over here and apologize. She, she's not going. To. Well, she is you know what? Trust you are only making You should really. Really? You, should Gary, can you, come you know what? I'm making a scene because I was treated like an ingrate. Nobody talks to me you, like that you, in life. I apologize to you on behalf of her, and you should be good. You should be, you were leaving and you, you, were, you really wanted to make a scene over here. No, I didn't want it. I'll call, you know, I'll call the police. She approached me. I'll she call the approached police. me. She's got no business talking. I'll call the police. Oh, yeah, like they're going to do it. Karen's not a fan of being on camera while throwing her little tantrum in the store. So what does Karen do? She just tries to grab the phone from the lady's hand. But the lady puts Karen in her place. Don't Listen, speak to me. Don't. If you want to go out. viral, don't don't I, speak to me. Just walk up. Don't touch my I'm phone. Walk away. Get do away not I've got do not touch me. This guy you assaulted right me. If you want to go to jail today, you just assaulted me. Assaulted. You touched me. Bro, you you can't touch people. Do you want to go to jail today? Don't do this. Get Be a better person. Me. Have respect for yourself and people around you. Stop it. You can't do that to people. This dude at work is having a total meltdown because his pregnant co-worker dared to spend a few extra minutes in the bathroom. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the recording. You're, the, you're going to pay for my phone. You can do it yourself. Nope, because I'm out of here. Had a whole attitude earlier today.
okay, you, you, you spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. You don't play these games when Nicole is here, but you'll play them when I'm here. Now you're recording me because you think I'm going to come out my neck sideways at you, and I'm not. But I'm you, not that you, stupid. But you already did. When no, you have when I called you, you out of your name? When you, when you raised your voice at me, you already did. Sideways. Karen is just chilling in the drive-thru while the workers call the cops on her for her drama. Then a lady won't give her money and she decides to cuss her out. I think they're calling the police on you. I think so too. Police here too. Why didn't you just take the food? Okay. You asking me for money? How you gonna cuss me? What the f***? How the Cause you can't get it, let it go. Oh God, I just don't let it go. I'm a shooter. <laughs> Karen loses her cool over a mocha cappuccino with too much chocolate. She's making a big scene, demanding a refund, even though they offered her ten bucks back. Here, I got a gift card. Okay, I just want to show you. Yeah. This is, and I'm videotaping this because it's disgusting. Yeah. Literally, yeah, so. straight chocolate. Like that's, you yeah, can see it. It's disgusting. That's not a mocha cup. Like, really, it's stuck at the bottom of the cup. You don't see that? Yeah, that's how you want. You didn't want mocha in it. A mocha cappuccino is not that. Okay. Is it a fra you want a frappuccino? No, I wanted a mocha cappuccino. I do want a frappuccino now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, yeah. I know I can it taste is. that right, right while I'm here, and yeah, not have to worry about yeah. it. I got you. Here's your. This is a ten dollar gift card. For then, would you want a mocha frappuccino? Uh, yeah. yeah. Then I want my money back. So is this ten dollars for my experience and my gas, or? Yes, yeah. And then this is okay. Really, I'm gonna refund you for this right here. You do realize I've probably spent an hour right now. I know. I'm very sorry. Right. You seem really sorry. Of course I didn't see it, but I was gonna. Okay, and your name? Okay, and I am going to be contacting corporate because this is sure. the worst experience I've ever had in my life. I'm very sorry. Oh my god, that Did doesn't look ready. That, that doesn't look anything like it. Like that that literally says chip on it. Did you want a frappuccino? That says Java chip on it. Are you guys kidding? Karen didn't get her pizza on time. So now she's making a big fuss in the restaurant. She's causing a whole scene demanding a free pizza and harassing the poor workers. Two minutes. I get a free pizza. And we're asking you to please call corporate because we are extremely busy and we you have no control over that. You guys stopped the timer saying that you brought it to me already when you no, did it. We have to hit the timer before we leave the store. So what happens is when so you... It, so it took you two additional minutes to get up to my car after you grab, hit the timer? To grab your sides and stuff or to check that we have everything. That's not how it works. Yes, that is how. That is exactly how it works. Tracker, that's not how it works. If... This is gonna continue, we don't have time for this. We're gonna walk away and continue making pizzas, please. Karen assumed this guy would join her in harassing the worker. But plot twist, he takes the worker's side. So her rage level goes off as she continues to harass the workers, refusing to leave. Yo, what the Oh my god, if she, if she has a bad, no, if she has a bad attitude, then just leave. Why are you making a big scene? I'm leaving. What's your name? Caitlin, and who's your boss? Oh, You're a Just fucking leave. What are you making a big ass scene for? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, leave. Yeah, it's me. You look like, you look like a fool, bro. Yes, you look like a fool. Yes, you look like a fool. You didn't, you came in here, you just started talking shit for no reason. I did not. I came in and said, hey, babe. No, we were, I listened to the whole damn thing. Come on now. You make a big scene for no reason. Just leave. If you don't like the service, then just leave. You gotta make a. Do you work here or does she? I don't work here. You don't work here. Just, yeah, She's just asking you to leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. No, ma'am. Please leave. No, ma'am. Please leave. No. I need you to leave. I know. Please leave. 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 Her man, her manager. Her name is Dees. 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 No. Yeah. Why? Why would she say that? But Dees. Yeah. Dees nuts. All Get the f we're, we're all. 
Can you believe it? Karen's dog treats her neighbor's patio like its own bathroom. When the owner confronts her about it, Karen has the audacity to get mad at the guy. So you're a threat? Hold on. You're a threat now? But you're not on your I property feel line. Threatened. But you walked I off of your threatened. patio. You walked off. Oh, there I you go. Feel threatened. So I'm not even going hey, to your patio. You can shut the no, up you. as well because your Thank dog's you, pissing right done there. This. He's done this. Can... I'm done. Ten fucking. Karen is in a real drama with the neighbors over building a fence. She's screaming that it's her property line, but the neighbors are just doing their thing on their own property. I want to be a tough neighbor, and I'm going to be tough back. I want them off my lot, and you're not putting anything there. Tough the fence thing is being replaced at your husband. You know what? I, I'm, you know what? You created nothing but crap with all your picture taken. We're cutting down, down trees, which actually ultimately helped you. All right, we, we took back your property for you because it was creating some leaves and everything. What are you taking pictures? I'll call the cops. My husband told me to call the cops. You want me to do that? Yes, and I will show him where the property line is. You don't even have, you have no idea where the property line is. Well, you don't know what you're speaking about. You don't yeah. either, because you weren't here when it was put in. You have not, you weren't here when it was put in, okay? Or you weren't old enough to know. Don't even Man, go there. You don't know what you're you saying. You don't even know what you're talking about. You can't be a sh and take pictures and make my life difficult when I want to cut down trees and then do this. You're so full of crap. God, you've got me so mad right now. Well, that's what you get for being a sh neighbor. That's what you get. You get what you give. This is what you're You husband. get what you get. You know that? I wouldn't have said boo to you, but you want to be a sh neighbor and sit out here and take pictures and video while we're sitting there trying to cut down trees. And all you can do is sit there and complain. Your neighbor, your own neighbor has been assigned Karen can't handle waiting for her food like the normal folks. Even though the workers explain they are short staffed, she keeps on harassing them. So another customer steps in to confront her crazy behavior. Excuse me, I called sick 15 minutes ago to be ready. What do you mean there's other people? I had to stand in line to tell you. There are only two people operating the store at a time. That's not my problem. That's not okay, then try working out of some way. Oh, yeah, well, okay. You're shaking. Give me the order, please. Okay. Kevin, uh, you get up here, man. What's your name? Uh, you don't need my name. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't need my name. 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 You don't need yeah, just Thank a minute, everyone will be here with us. What's the yeah. point of ordering online if it's not ready? It says online order pickup. You should have ordered here instead of waiting in line. I you should probably have wasn't there, ma'am. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I mean, you're you're saying you're you're right. Right. because you're being rude to the wait staff. Everybody not. just call in the morning at 8 and talk to Gavin's sure manager will. and say that we were witnesses. Sure will. Oh, yeah, but we're a bunch of bullies. You tried to bully. You tried, yeah. Don't try getting the young kid into that. Give him our side. What's your name? We'll call for him soon. Yeah. For the both people working. You're a bully. I'm the one that's trying to get You're out this for free. You're I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to get this for free. Anyway, is it worth it to you to be such an embarrassment for her? No, you're the embarrassment. Yeah, come on. You're a disgusting human being. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Have a good evening, enjoy it. Okay. Karen tries to pull a scam by asking for a refund, complaining about the bad service at the salon. She doesn't even have the receipt and harasses the worker. But a customer steps in and exposes her scam. So you have no one to help me. No, no, no. When can I come back? Look, they're they're falling off. I asked, I don't have time. I just want to let you guys know this is ridiculous. Look, I can't do many things. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. Don't no, 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 no. I, I, I I'm speaking with her right now, though. You're being rude. Okay. <laughs> because I need to speak to her. Do you see what this Do you see what my nails look like? Do you see what she did to my stuff? That is very rude. On the same day? This, I came in and she did this to my nails. I was, I came in with this long and you, I left like this. Are those photos time here? 
Huh? Are the photos time time stamped? Yeah, I'm sure. If you go to details, photo details, you can actually see the oh, time I'm stamp. Sure. I can prop it up when I talk to the manager. Yeah. Very interesting. But this is my nails now, and you wow. can you feel how there's lumps in it? They're not even done evenly or nothing. I can see and that. And she cut them off. Wow. Why did you yeah. I asked her just to trim them a little, and she kept acting like she didn't speak, and I was in a hurry and had to go somewhere. It was important, so I told her I would be back, and I'm back, and I just want to speak to a manager about it so I can get this problem resolved. I paid 60 bucks for you to do this. Yeah. Did you have a receipt or a transaction yeah, receipt for them? Yeah. Are you the owner? I'm not, but I can understand customer service, so I'm 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 just trying to understand. I, too, I mean, if you years, anybody can flash a picture, but if you're gonna come in and make a scene in the middle of us just trying to enjoy our time, she did it. She I, I mean, I would I'd love to see some receipts. I'm sure they'd love to see some receipts, right? Oh, they when we punch in some I transaction receipts stuff. or I all did. your rewards. I do. I brought my daughters in. They both had their nails painted. Wonderful. I had mine done. And she knows I sat there and she did them. So I would like to speak. When's a manager here for the me to speak? The manager, she not here. And you want Okay, my uh, words were, when will a manager be in? Uh, okay. So I may come in yeah. and speak to her, please. Oh, okay. Um, you want a uh, fix for you? You want a fix for you? I would like a manager to speak oh, manager, And whenever okay. she's here, you, I will come back. Yeah, okay. You had a sit for 15, 10 minutes? 20 minutes. She back, okay? She'll be back in 20 minutes? Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. We need the zookeepers at the store because Karen's gone wild, screaming like a maniac. She's turning the whole place into a full-on safari. Somebody not in The workers catch a wannabe thief in the parking lot trying to snag stuff he didn't pay for. The lady calls him out on his top-notch behavior. Hey, she said you didn't pay for that stuff. She said you didn't pay for that stuff. You need to go back in right now. You need to go back in right now and pay for the receipt. Show the receipt. You didn't pay for that. Why don't you just bring it back in and return it? Why don't you just do the right thing, dude? You're from Washington. You're not even from around here, dude. You're going to f locals. Put it down. Put it down, dude. Put it down. Yeah, you're stealing, dude. Don't come to my town and steal. So what else did you steal? What else did you take? Dude, you stole that. You said you stole that. Put it down. These two geniuses were having a fight over a parking spot. Who needs common rationality when you can squabble like seagulls over a piece of bread?
Karen's big plans for the day was to block the skater's path and to stop them from doing their thing. Because, you know, that's a super productive way to spend time. Oh, greetings. So, uh, can I ask what it is to you? Like, this is nuts. This is, man. Karen is really out here wilding. Karen is wilding. So I don't, I don't understand why you're here though. You just voice your concern and we can talk about it like logical human beings. I, I didn't even say anything, I just said mind our business. Oh! A silent Karen in the wild. She stalks her prey. I just don't get it to be honest. Karen couldn't handle the party noise, so she decided to march four houses down to complain. She tries to harass the neighbor, but the lady's not falling for her drama. What's of going all on? the noisy parties. It's Saturday night, ma'am. What time it is it? It's barely Saturday 9 o'clock. It is 9 o'clock. But what's going well, on? It's noisy. I know. This it's is why noisy. we buy houses, so we could do what we want. So that you can do what you want. If you're right you behind us? We are four houses away and you're so loud and okay what's knows. okay what's your address since you came over here can i know your address no no but no. what are you what are you doing i don't I'm think really, nobody I'm our neighbors not, over here are not even complaining you're three houses away it's you got okay too many people how do you know how many people we have so what? Okay. What's your name? I've lived in this neighborhood. What's your name? My name is Chris. Chris? And okay, look. back up, Chris. Okay. Oh. No, I said hello. No, Excuse that's not me. how you came at us. Well, you're you're in my sister's house, like literally. You could call the, the cops if you the want. There's nothing bad going on. This even before oh, curfew. Please don't. Do it's that. even before curfew. Like well, I don't know well, why you're. No curfew. What's okay. It's nine o'clock. It's nine. It's early on a Saturday, ma'am. You could you could stay here and talk to my sister if you want. I'll come over tomorrow morning in the day. Yes, because how you did it right now was really not called for. Karen's casually strolling by, practically mowing down this guy's car mirror. When he calls her out, she acts like it's not a big deal. You, you, probably, you could probably no, bump it up. I'm not kidding. I just don't think it's ruined for a little scratch like that. Ma'am, this... <laughs> I just don't want any, I don't want an argument. I, sure, whatever, whatever you feel is right. I just think you should be more careful in a parking lot. I, I think these things go in, don't they? I think when you park, it yeah. would be smart if you could pull. Why are yours not in then? Because I don't, I don't think ours go in. But yeah. yours, oh, I think yours do. Isn't that what yeah, that does? Yes, they do go they do go in. Oh they that wouldn't happen, happen, right? They do go in. And then you know, when you I put it back, ma'am. Thank you. Then yes. you wouldn't have to worry about your five hundred dollar mirror if you put it in. I understand. And I should have been and you're right. I should have been more careful, but I didn't go by that. I really don't think I did. I okay. Well I, I guess we can agree to disagree. Yes. And if I give you a hundred dollars you'll be careful. Karen screams at her neighbor for other cars speeding down the street. She was just taking her anger out on this poor guy for no reason. Because they're late, that this is a residential neighborhood. Okay, was that speeding? Hey, I'm more than everybody that I can get to. Your window was slight open. But so was I speeding? It doesn't matter if it's you or not. It's a guy public service announcement. So if I wasn't speeding, why are you yelling at me? I'm yelling at everybody. Wow, I didn't do that to you. The trains there, they think this is some kind of place where they can take their anger out and drive through here going 50 miles an hour. I'm not mad. To make up. We're not making it through the train when they're dumb, stupid drive one block down and get around the train. I'm not mad. Why are you oh, mad? I'm mad at all the stupid what? Did you no, wake up in a bad mood? You. Well, why, give a why are you cussing me? Why are you wake up in a bad mood? I didn't. I walked my dog all nice and then I got retarded losers spinning through here. And you know, you don't have permission.
permission to publish that, and I can sue you. I'm not publishing anything. Yeah, well, good. Keep it for yourself. What's your name, Karen? No, mother. Oh. It's called re person who paid property taxes, and I deserve to live in a neighborhood where people aren't rude. Assholes. You got like slobber. You got spit on your mouth I and everything. Don't care. I don't like you people. You're who? Loser. What people? Stupid people that cut through and speed through. But I wasn't speeding. Well, you are probably on your way. You had your foot down pretty good. I bet you if I didn't see anything, you're at your roll would have been to 44. You know where I live? So, this guy bought a drink and spent some time working on his laptop. However, a Karen worker came and harassed him, asking him to leave and claiming he was taking up too much space, even though there were plenty of empty tables. She called the cops and kicked him out. The cops weren't thrilled, but they had to do their job. Huh? Why are you so like uh, like angry about it? Well, honey, because you're not doing what I asked you to do. You you told me that I needed to buy something, no, so I, didn't say I bought something. something. I said it's with food, and you had already said you're your. But why do you have such like you just have such an attitude? You're acting like I'm like a homeless medic or something in here uh -huh. that's like disturbing people. I've just been sitting here on my laptop for like good. 20 minutes. We taking up space. Well, I'm not. There, there's. I'm taking up space. Well, honey, there Look is. how many open space. How many there open is. tables are? I'm not taking up space with anybody. Well, she told me. I asked you to leave. Okay, yeah, tell your, you want to tell your supervisor to come talk to me then? I would. Yeah, I'd rather talk to somebody else. So she's getting a supervisor now because uh, I'm not allowed to sit here on my laptop at McDonald's because I'm taking up too much space. I'm a customer of McDonald's no, now. No, and I'm not allowed to stay? No. For what reason? Because we have a lo no loitering. So it's loitering since I got a drink and I'm hanging out drinking my drink. All right, I'll give you 15 more minutes, but then you gotta go. Then can I have my money back for the drink since I'm not even allowed to have it in the store? I'm not even allowed to have my own drink that I paid for in the store or at the store. You know how crazy that sounds? Like, I get it. Like, if I was, like, disturbing people here or, like, you know, But that we have no issue. place for the customers to sit when you're... What about this table, that table, that table, that table, that table, that table? There's, like, 15 open tables. I'm not... Like, I'm not talking to you. I'm actually just talking to her, so... Well, there's nobody here. It's so... It's This is, like... But you understand, you right? You can't order in other people's parking lots, can you? I'm not... I'm not in your parking lot, I'm in your store, and I bought a drink. Uh, I'm gonna give you 30 more minutes and you got to go. Okay, so what happens at minute 29 if I go buy a, a small french fry? How much more time does that allow me to be in your store? I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing, I'm just asking you a question. If you're the supervisor, I'd expect well, you to ask- I'm not supervisor, I'm just a shift lady. Oh, well, I asked for the supervisor. The supervisor's not here. Oh, well. Uh, What's going on, guys? Sorry to waste your guys' time like that. It is what it is, man. Yeah, it's so good. You have so your dumb. ID on yet where I can document I spoke with you. Do you need, need to actually run this for anything, or? Yeah, I just, just, I have to check it, just uh, document, we have to document everything we do. Yeah. So, you know, it just goes into like a CAD system. It's not like you're getting in trouble or anything, it's just. Like if I haven't, like, committed a single crime, like, why do I have to give an ID for anything? We're investigating that, so it's just part of that. Cool. Yeah, I thought it was weird. I, she said, she's in that red truck, I'm like. <laughs> Well, it's almost like an ambulance truck. You know, what? A lot of stuff is just like they'll call in a disorderly customer. I've had KFC call in on a disorderly customer, uh, but he wouldn't do anything disorderly. He's just sitting there. Yeah. I'm like, that's why. You know, I don't understand. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, it's just. I'm just pissed cool. that they made me buy a drink and then still kick me out. Yeah. But that's what pisses me off. Go ahead. Yeah, it don't make any sense at all. We'll get out of your hair, man. Be uh, safe. Yeah, sorry you guys had to, you know. Waste your time. No, nah, you're good, man. It, it is what it is. Yeah. Karen hits a lady with her car, and instead of apologizing, she gets all defensive. Then, as if that's not good enough, she snatches the lady's phone and starts harassing her. You're also walking in an active you're a moving vehicle. The you're in a moving vehicle. You did, you did it on purpose. You're in a moving vehicle. You did it on purpose. You hit me in a car. Yeah. So you're in a car. Sorry. I'm walking. Don't touch my phone. Then give me my phone. Give me my phone back. I need a 911 call. I need 911 call. Okay, I'll call no. him right now. Yeah, the, you, you, no, you're touching me. Why are you touching me? Because you're in Why the are you touching me? I need I need the cops called, please. I no, she just hit me with her car. Now she's trying to leave. No, she just she just snatched my phone, grabbed it on me, pulled it away from me. Spot. She hit me with my leg. Exactly, that's not a parking spot. No, I that's not a because she just hit me with her vehicle. She and just hit me with her vehicle. She hit my leg. 
And she tried to leave. Because she was walking across the open garage, and I was trying to go around her, and she went like this. Oh, like, no, oh. I did not. Yeah. I did not do that. Yeah, why, like, why would I want to get hit by a car? Why would I want to, why would I pick my leg? Why would I want to get hit by a vehicle? Ma'am, I was walking across and you just yes. hit me. And you didn't, because I wanted to take my time. Because I wanted to take my time and cross and, and you hit you me with your vehicle. When there were cars coming in both directions. So you you're saying that purpose. you hit me with your vehicle on purpose. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. No, I did not. You just hit me on no. purpose. No. Margarita, this lady just hit me in the car with, she hit me with her car. Yeah. And then she's she trying to leave. I was she by. snatched my phone right now and she because broke the snap off. Don't have the authorization I don't care. Me. I have the see, authorization but, to film me wherever I'd like. Oh, but it's against no. to hit me with your car. No. You just hit me with your car and that's yeah. against yeah, the law. You went like this. I, I, did, did I did what? What did I do? You what did I do? What did I do? I'm not going to show you on film. So, so she's just saying that I wanted to get hit by her car. That's what she's saying. Well, you were saying you were, you were having you need an attitude. No, I don't need a paramedic, but I need a I need a police officer because I need to file a police report. I need to file a police report. I'll call right now. Karen had a total brain malfunction when a woman called her out for bumping into her car. But oh no, Karen can't handle it. So she decides to escalate things by ramming her car into the ladies. What are you doing? Get the camera. Go get a job and um, find something better to do with your. What have you done? What have you done? Can you I have your me. license? Money, you just reversed into me. I have a um, camera. Sorry, we're at a traffic light yeah, and you can say whatever you want, man. You can put whatever you want, sweetheart. The media doesn't care about you. I'm not talking they to the media. You. Don't you worry. What are you looking for? Oh, Did you see that? A maniac. Yeah, I yeah. am. There are a lot of us. Good. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I'm so oh. sorry, Emma. I'm so oh. sorry. You fucking idiot. You are fucked. Karen couldn't wait in line like everyone else at the theme park. So what does she do? She tries to sneak onto the ride from the exit. Karen casually strolls into her neighbor's yard like it's a public park. When the owner calls her out, she acts all innocent like she did nothing wrong. I'm talking about what, what, what brought you on my property? What brought you on private property? And you come to my backyard? What? The backyard? No, it's the front. Okay, well, I just seen where the dog is. For what? What brought you up here? Actually, um, I don't really know where your front door is, but I'm actually coming in a very nice way. But you, you dead wrong. You on my property. How you on private property. This is my property. This is my property. But I'm not doing anything wrong. You shouldn't have been here. What you mean you ain't doing them wrong? Are you kidding me? So where you live, so I can come in your yard and you tell me that I'm I can come to your yard unannounced. You don't know me from a can of peas. Y'all listen to this lady. This lady just stepped up on my property and told me my dog is being what now? What you say my dog being? Emaciated in what way? Can you see its ribs are hanging out? This dog My dog ribs is not hanging out. Do you know anything about her health? You know what? I'm going to leave because this is your property and you're correct. But I was coming But you know about my dog's health issues, right? You you know anything about this dog or me? I know a lot about her. Oh, but do you know about this dog? Do you know anything about her vet? Because she goes to the vet. So do you know anything about this dog? 
And that's your business too, ain't it? Dr. Griffin, I didn't have to tell you that. But Dr. Griffin. Thank you. I'm calling 911 because baby did this him white. This him Karen, him just went crazy. If you ever come back on my property, I promise you, you will not leave here like that right there because you on private property. You trespassing. And yes, you are being videoed. Please believe that you are dead ass wrong. You came up here like you wanted to steal my dog. Well, what was you doing? Karen went bonkers and started banging on her neighbor's door, all because their car set foot on her precious property. What do you want? Um, I want to talk to the grown-up who lives here. Why? What happened? Answer the door. What happened? Answer the door. No, I don't even know who I'm you are. I'm your neighbor. I'm sorry. Who are you? Can you just tell me if something went wrong or yes. something happened? I'm not aware. There is something wrong. Made you angry. Who are you? Well, can you tell me what? You're the mother of this house? I'm the mother of this house. Great. Well, we've never met, so let's meet. If your cat doesn't stop pissing and eating and biting all of the things at my house when I don't own a cat and you do, I'm going to get the police involved because I am fed up. My son is very allergic to cats. Your cat will not stay out of my yard, my house, my garage. He gets into my house. Your orange cat. If you would open the door, I can show you. Mr. Karen is doing his thing at the restaurant, being a total pain. But then a worker stands up to him and doesn't take his nonsense. And oh boy, Mr. Karen couldn't believe what just happened. He just sat there, speechless. Now, I honestly, no we, nobody wants to wait on you. We're asking you nicely. We're being very nice. Please oh. just leave. That's it. You got a cup of coffee out of us. What more do you want? That's it. I'm not, you're not going to call me a bitch. I'm going to sit near my boss's wife. You're not going to call people a lesbian. Sure as hell ain't going to look underage girls. I don't want to look at underage girls. Let's go. Hey, 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 come on. You're a pedophile and a freak. You deserve to be locked up in Bellevue. That's all I got to say. And I'm asking you to leave. Thank you. 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 Poor worker is doing his best to fix the room cleaning issue, but Karen won't back down. She's all about escalating the situation, no matter what. The issue, I am going to get to the bottom of this and resolve the issue for you and your family. I want you to be the happiest you can so you hear. You say, you're going to see what I'm going to do. Yes. I'm leaving to go do that because I want your family to be happy. Okay, so then you don't have here. to act that strange with me when I'm asking you to leave this till you resolve it. And I'm saying again, I'm not acting strange with you. Once you said this wasn't yours and this garbage. I, I know, but I just wanted you to leave truck. it here. Till you resolve it, right? And then take the garbage. So then I work for you is what I'm no, saying. You, I, I work for the hotel. You said this I is garbage you. and it's not yours. I know, but I'm there's a lot of garbage here, sir. If you take all the garbage, I'm going to be okay with it. But if you're taking the can that was left in the room and the room was not cleaned properly, I want you to leave this can here and take it when you resolve the issue. This is a resolved issue, right? You said this was garbage and I'm taking out a resolved issue so right this now. Is, this is a resolved issue? This is how you resolve no, issues? This is like you I'm leave the garbage here. Resolve. You leave the garbage here when I check into the room. What garbage? This garbage. You, you, okay, I'm taking the garbage out. Yes, no, no, you don't take the garbage out just like that. You should have kept the room clean. My logic is that if this was left in my room, I don't know if the sheets are clean, I don't know if the towels were clean, or they just look spotless and they were not clean. And I'm going to resolve that issue for you. So why don't you just leave this here, resolve See, listen, it? I'm, I'm going to leave the can here. Okay. For one. For two, if you tell me that you need me to resolve something and I'm trying to, now you're stopping me from resolving the issue that... I don't think you need to take the can to resolve the issue. It's a start. This is a start. You said this was garbage and it wasn't yours. So I'm, t I'm removing it from... The, for the room, because you say it's not nobody in your family. And this is, this is your resolving the issue? No, it's the start. And I'm going to come back 
as a worker here and finish on the resolving the issue that's going to make your family happy. I'm not here. There's not an argument or debate. I'm here to make you guys happy. I'm here to resolve all the issues. You say your carpet was dirty. I mean, why? You say your sheets, you might not be dirty. I'm going to take care of all of that for you and your family to make the so rest you, of your stay So you, I here. have to make four phone calls and come down twice to the front desk in order to get an issue a result of this garbage being there and all you do to resolve the issue is pick up the garbage and just leave uh, well, so I, that i mean if i want to really report about this i really cannot well you, you can because i'm here i'm not going to lie about you well you're you here because i called i only excuse the me. fifth time excuse me and i'll say it again i came to work at three o'clock i was not here this morning i'm talking I about have, the hotel you I work have, for the hotel right i'm talking right. about the hotel this morning i was not at work i'm here now trying to resolve issues. I can't resolve a morning issue if I wasn't here this morning. I'm trying to make your family... So basically, when somebody checks into your hotel, uh, if they have an issue in the morning, they have to wait till no, 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 people no. check in like at work. No, they do not. That's why I apologize for whatever did. This Karen at the restaurant having a meltdown, giving the worker a hard time right in front of her poor daughter. Great role model, huh? Give me my change. Yes, ma'am. It's $11. Well, let me back. Give me and my change. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven seventy-six. Why you videoing something? Get my change. Cause video whatever you want to video. Give me my damn change. Mm -hmm. We will not be back to this restaurant. Do y'all know how many times we have been to this restaurant and to be insulted by this man about a soda in a cup? We will not be back. Sorry, ma'am. No one got no Facebook or Twitter. No one will be back. We will not be back in this restaurant. You go crazy by and drink. Like I don't want to pay you. Let me show you how much money I have in my purse. Bitch. If I have to pay, bitch, I'll pay you for a drink. You okay. You have a nice day. Two dollar drink. Thank you. To ever try me because I'm black? You think you can try me by soda because I'm black? Okay. They got three dollars to get some. Nice day. This old lady walks up to this crazy Karen who's screaming like a maniac in the parking lot. Grandma's got nerves of steel. Yeah. You don't know how you treat me, okay? Old man. I'm balling. The oh, whole time I was in there. calling him a psycho. And yeah, he is. Card at him and he is. You're a psycho. Get away. He is. You better get away now. You're the one. Don't point. Get away. Don't point my face. Don't point my face. Don't point my face. Oh, oh, no, I'm not going to hit. Oh, I'm going to hit an old lady. Yeah, okay. Don't treat him like that again. No. How about he don't treat me like that, and then we wouldn't have this problem. Everybody you you, you obviously see tears. Of course, I, 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 don't, I don't care either. You know, Mind your business. How about that? You probably you have no. Probably. Oh, I bought How about I that? Come on. Probably. You were in there. Call the cops. How camera. about that? You know what? Oh, I'm right. on camera. Yeah. Mind your business. How about that? Don't take it into a public place now. No, mind your, no. You know, she, she has a problem. I walk over here crying to light a cigarette. Karen can wrap her head around the fact that she got kicked off the plane for her totally normal behavior. This wouldn't be a good time to ask for a water, but I Mr. Karen on the plane decides masks weren't his thing, so the pilot had no choice but to get everyone out because Mr. Karen wouldn't budge. Finally, the cops arrived and taught someone manners by dragging him in cuffs. Tell me what I did wrong. 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 I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. Why did I have to get on the plane? Why did I have to get on the plane? I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? Attention on the aircraft. I 
Anybody in rows 14 and forward to the first class cabin, I need you guys to start cleaning the aircraft up to the front. Ever seen someone so miserable they decide to take it out on a random lady at the drive-thru? This guy did. He picks a fight with a random lady who's just trying to figure out why this crazy guy is throwing a tantrum. You know what would say in the car, Drew? We're just getting McDonald's. <laughs> Drew, you just call me a I do. Stay in the car, please. You know what this f about? Jesus Christ. What the f Dude, I'll get out of this f car. Oh, he's rolling down his window. What? What? What the f What are you looking at? Dude, what the f did you do to you? I was cleaning the car and you had a f face on you. If you didn't, you're a f What the f Literally, get your f Donald to get on with your life. Around me? Yeah. You don't even f me. I can just tell the way you act. Right. The way I act. Right. Right. Absolutely. I am a f Do you have a problem? What the f is wrong with you, dude? We're just getting We're food. literally just getting a <laughs> Donald, dude. What the f is your issue? This crazy guy decides it's the perfect time to stand up when the plane is about to land. The entire staff practically had to beg him to sit down. Karen's in her car at the drive-thru, casually digging through her bag like she's on a treasure hunt. Meanwhile, the poor worker's holding her coffee for what feels like an eternity. Take your drink carrier. Take the f***ing drink carrier. She's had her hands out there for so long. Her old head's out the f***ing window. You gotta be f I would've taken them and put them back on the counter by now. Serious this is right why now. I hate working in customer service. Same. This video should not be this long. People like this. What could you possibly be doing? She's still digging around in her bag for shit. Oh my god, lady. 
You could have at least taken the drinks and pulled forward. Dude. She just took her arm out extendo. Hell no. Can you leave, lady? Thank oh you. Oh my God. Thank you. Bye. Karen thought she could just stroll up to someone's porch and snatch their bicycle like it was a free giveaway. But guess what? Her sneaky plan failed when the owner caught her in the act. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I will never do this. Ever I will again. call the police. I know. I'm sorry. Please don't. And I'm on your ring anyway, so they'll know who I am. Yeah. Okay. I have four kids. I apologize. I just have no gas money. Get off my well, property. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I've never even done this before. I just promise. You probably I'll, shouldn't again. I won't. These people told me that they would give me twenty dollars for a bike. Check this out. Two Karens having a full-blown showdown in the parking lot. Just what everyone wants to see after a peaceful shopping trip. Pick up one yasso. Keep doing it right now so I can call this out. One yasso. Come and try. I, I dare you. Come on, you'll get kicked out of You're walking away. You're, You're a liar. You're afraid. You so. walk away every time You're I come near you. Please do it then. Please come do it. I'll Please. stand right here. Please. I'd love to call I would love for you to do something. I can stand and let you punch me. I would love for you to do something. Go ahead. You're embarrassing me. I'm not embarrassing. You're poor lady. I probably, I'm really you're really, really good at this. You can tell you're really good at this. I really don't care. You're just standing here really leaning up against the thing. How fat are you? Go and do your thing. You need to go after money. Go get it done. Get it done to go after your drugs. Go. Are you still standing here? Karen thinks she's a stealth master stealing from the store. But oh boy, when she gets busted, instead of admitting it, she goes berserk, throwing curses like confetti. You on camera! You on camera! Just give it up! Karen decides to cut in line at the drive-thru, but the lady behind her is having none of it. She gets out and gives Karen a piece of her mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, sh**, getting out of the car, dog. She about to beat her ass. The employee and customer decide to turn the drive through into a little battleground. Because, you know, burgers taste better with a side of drama.
Can you believe it? This Karen at the drive-thru drops this guy's food on the floor in the parking lot. When he asks for a new one, Karen refuses to give him one and says this one is all fine because it was wrapped and the burger didn't touch the floor. You won't believe how this McDonald's employee <laughs> behaves. Hi. Comment your opinions. He just uh, dropped the food. Yeah, but it's, all, it's in the wrapping so it's fine. Yeah, but the food is on the floor. Yeah, but the burger wasn't on the floor. It's just the packaging, so the burger's fine. Sorry about that, but like, it's completely fine. I want another burger. But can you not just have the food? It didn't touch the floor. One, maybe? It didn't touch the floor. It's just but it the did packaging. Though. No, it, it didn't. Did though. I just, just saw it. I just saw the food the, go on hey, the floor. Sorry, but there's no well, need for What do you mean, sorry? Here. I'm reading no this. But like, you just dropped my food. I didn't drop your food. You just dropped the food. It's just the packaging. It's it literally just the Would packaging. Would it be okay if we had a new one, please? No, sorry. But like, but like, why not? Because it didn't touch the floor. There was but like, a, I don't want that. The product didn't touch the floor, so it, I I've paid the for it yet. I've okay, paid for fine. it. Okay, that's fine. And as I've said, it didn't touch the floor, so I don't see the issue. The so food touched the floor. I don't want it. Do you Get your hands out of my car. Do you want your food or not? No, I don't this want it. Your I don't want it. I don't want it. You, you physically put your hands in my car, yeah? What? You're trying to fight me now? This is your food. But yeah, but I don't want it. I don't care, man. Would you? Would you? Do you want the food? What do you mean you care, man? I want food or not? Listen, listen yeah, don't get moody, yeah, don't get angry. I want you to go inside, yeah. Listen, yeah, you need to calm yourself down. Go inside there and I'll give you a new food. Excuse me. What do you mean, excuse me? Don't speak to me like that. I, I, I told you, you, you dropped my food. I've come here to give you your food. You, you, you dropped so my food. Take your food. No, 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 no. no. Take you, your you, food. you go inside. Go inside. And have a good and give day. Some, what do you mean, you have a good day? Take your food and have a good day. So, it hasn't touched the floor, so therefore there's no problem. But the pork's dropped. Why can't you just get me a new food? Because the food didn't touch the floor. Is it going to affect you? Is it going to affect you? So just take the food and call it a day. No, 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 I'll call it a day. When you go inside and give me some fresh food. No. But you dropped it. Yeah. What do you mean? But the food didn't touch the floor, though. That's what I'm saying to you. It's, it's not clean. It's not hygienic. It doesn't matter. We're, we're just out of a pandemic, yeah? And, like, you're trying to get us into a new one. You, the product didn't touch the floor. The it's just bacteria. What, what do you mean it didn't touch the floor? It, it didn't touch the floor. I've got it on camera. I've got it on camera. The yeah, box. And as you can see, the, the box, box and the bag. The floor. It even didn't... if it was a bag, even if it was a bag. So it... just because the bag touched the floor, that means you deserve a whole new meal? Yeah, of course. That is ridiculous. How is that ridiculous? ridiculous. And that's what, not how things why, work. Why did you drop it in the first sir, place? Sir, that's why not how things work. Place? Sorry, sir. Why did you drop it in the first that's place? That's not for? how things work. It's an accident. Accidents happen. Your food didn't touch the floor, so therefore there is no issue there. So you can have your food. You, you, you take that back, go in there, and then do drop, and then get us a new one. Yeah, thanks. No way. Disgusting behaviour. That concludes this episode of the Top 40 Clips of 2023. Did your favourite Karen moment make the cut? Drop a comment and tell us below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you in 2024.